And we're learning Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine appears to be less effective against the Delta variant. Now, this is all according to the Israeli government. Vaccine protection dropped in early June as the Delta variant was rapidly spreading and social distancing restrictions were lifted in Israel. Joining us now to tell us if Americans should be worried is our chief health editor, Dr. Parth Nandi. Dr. Nandi, good afternoon. Afternoon, Alan. How you doing? I'm good, doctor. Thank you. So first of all, how much did the efficacy rate drop there in Israel? So, Alan, between June 6th and early July, the Israeli analysis found that the protection rate for the Pfizer vaccine dropped to 64%. That's a, that's a lower number. It's down from 95.3%, which was what the protection rate was back in May when the alpha variant was dominant in Israel. Now, while it's possible that the Pfizer vaccine is less effective, right? That's a fear. It's possible that the Pfizer vaccine is less effective when it comes to Delta variant at preventing both infection and symptomatic disease. That's disease when you feel it. There's very little data released with this analysis. And importantly, the Hebrew University research team made a point of releasing a separate statement saying that it's still too early to know how much of the vaccines are affected by the Delta variant. But indeed, something concerning that we have to keep an eye on. Yeah, when you look at these numbers, it is concerning, and it should be concerning for so many people who have received that Pfizer vaccine. But the Delta variant now makes up more than half of coronavirus cases here in the U.S. Should we be worried? You know, I, I don't think so yet. You know, listen, I get the concern, Alan, right? I, I often get the same questions from patients about the variants. But I've got good news. A recent study also shows that when breakthrough infections do happen, for those who are vaccinated, the person is more likely to have milder symptoms and for a shorter period of time. That's good. And you're less likely to end up with severe disease, which is what you're worried about, right? In fact, the Israeli analysis also found that the Pfizer vaccine was 93% effective in stopping severe disease and hospitalization. And that number jumped even higher. And we've talked about this before. The When you look at the Public Health England study, it found that two doses of the Pfizer vaccine was 96% effective against hospitalizations from the Delta variant. So I, I don't want those who've had the Pfizer vaccine like me to really worry. You know, I, of course, I do recommend that you err on the side of caution. If you have medical conditions, please follow the pandemic uh, precautions. You know, so you have to do that. Remember that thus far, our data shows that, that the vaccines are still very effective against all the variants. Plus, other research has done this, show that the immune cells that we call T cells remain effective. And, and, and are not uh, are not affected. So if antibodies are decreased, the T cells can step up and, and then really fight the virus, even if there's a Delta mutation. They can kill infected cells and stop infecting. So it's, I think it's imperative, again, to get vaccinated and do so as soon as possible. When most of us are vaccinated, right? When most of us are vaccinated, it leaves less room for the virus to mutate and then cause more havoc in our lives. So we'll stay on top of this Israel story, but I'm still confident that with the Pfizer vaccine, I think we're still going to be okay. Yeah, and it's just like you and other health professionals say, it's better to be vaccinated than unvaccinated. Dr. Nandy, thank you so much for your time. And remember, folks, if you have a coronavirus question for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.